official position and title is head chef at Analog Bar. The concept to the restaurant is very unique to downtown and to San Diego. Um, we are considered retro, which is funny to me because I am of that generation and I can't believe that it's being considered retro. Um, but it is 80s, 90s. Um, the concept is to really kind of focus on music of that era and um, represent that in every aspect of the restaurant and the bar. We have super karaoke um, with a, a big badass band that backs it up on Saturday nights, which is really fun for people who are into karaoke. They really get a genuine experience, get to feel like a rock star. Um, and the menu really complements it well with the comfort food that is all American and that people relate to. Um, so it goes well together. I was working for a very large beer distributing company in San Diego a few years ago and found out quickly that sales was not for me. And one of my accounts every Tuesday um, ended up at a parking lot in La Mesa where I would park my car to process my orders at the end of the day. <clears throat> and I would look into the window of a culinary school and watch all the students and I grew more and more envious of them and fascinated and intrigued and really developed um, a huge fascination with food and cooking and it became a hobby for me quite quickly, more so than it had been in the past. I'd always cooked, but um, it, it was progressively moving forward. <clears throat> and I realized one afternoon I wanted to be in the school and so Right after I processed my orders, I walked into the school, asked for an application, and here I am. Um, <clears throat> you know, the culinary, culinary philosophy, I think, definitely rolls back on, um, for me personally, just finding the right product um, and not manipulating it. You really want someone to enjoy what, you know, really good beef tastes like or what a really good artichoke tastes like especially for someone who's never had that opportunity, it's very exciting to be able to take something in its simplest form and add a little bit of what you know as far as technique to really just get a, a very good result out of it. I love this question. I would be a Brussels sprout. I've <laughs> I believe that the Brussels sprouts um, which we do get from specialty, and it's super fresh every time it comes in. Um, I believe the Brussels sprout is a highly underrated vegetable, and it's one of those vegetables that, when done properly, um, and if you use the right technique and the right ingredients, you can really accentuate what the flavors are in a Brussels sprout. And, you know, it is bitter, and it is um, meaty, and I think that you can really complement that well with the proper cheese and the proper technique. Here we, you know, we flash fry it, we toss it with some breadcrumbs, of course a little bit of bacon, um, some cheese, and season it properly, and it really illustrates what that Brussels sprout should taste like. And I feel like, like the Brussels sprout, I might be somewhat underrated. A lot of people are completely unaware of who I am, where I'm coming from. Um, this is a large county with many, many, many professional cooks and chefs in it, and I think that if given the proper showcase, I can really shine like a Brussels sprout. <laughs> I think I get inspiration everywhere. Again, I have to attribute San Diego for having such a vast array of uh, produce and product on the coast. Um, we're very fortunate to live where we do. As far as personal um, influence, you know, I grew up in a family that um, dining at home was very important, and I think we've lost that somewhere along the way. Um, so a strong influence would have to be most every member of my family, my mom especially. I don't think there was one time where I wasn't helping her in the kitchen, and it wasn't by force. I very much wanted to be there with her. And my grandfather, uh, my dad's dad, was probably one of the few men to have grown his own garden in the middle of Los Angeles. So I grew up just seeing 
ingredients picked straight from a garden and, you know, half an hour later it's presented to us for dinner. So that is a huge influence and a memory I have that um, will never ever leave. And I'm very fond of that and I, I feel very lucky to have had a family that just really knew the importance of food and dining and what that brings um, for everyone. It brings people together. There's nothing like breaking bread. The ultimate goal I would like to achieve is to have had at least 90% of the people that I've worked with or have worked for me to be able to say they enjoyed their time spent with me at work. I think that's incredibly important. That's huge. It says a lot about character. And at the end of the day, if you can work well with others and, and motivate um, your staff and others around you to be as excited about the things that you're doing, um, you know, as you are, that is the ultimate goal, to be able to leave a positive mark um, on any job that you do.